Hey guys, my name is Dan from Get Gym Fit and today we're going to be addressing the topic of whether a beginner should be doing a full body program or whether they should split up the week and do, you know, say shoulders on one day and then chest on the other day, etc. So we call this a split. So our firm belief at Get Gym Fit is that a beginner really should be focusing on doing a full body program. So what is the difference between a full body workout or a training split? Here's the difference. When you train full body, you might train perhaps three, two or three times a week, and you're actually training every part of your body. So you might do a pushing movement, pulling movement, some sort of hip hinge, squat and core, and maybe finishing off with some arms. So you're kind of hitting each area, okay? Whereas a, uh, when you do a training split, okay, you might, again, you might train five or six times a week, so a little bit more, and each day you're actually focusing on, say, on a Monday you might do chest, and you do multiple exercises just focusing on your chest and triceps. Then the next day might be a pulling day or a back day and you're doing lots of rows, lat pull downs, multiple exercises again that are just hitting those same muscles over and over and over multiple times. So that's the difference between the two. So why is this important? Why are we even discussing this today? As a beginner, it's important to get things right from the start, okay? And there's a lot of misinformation out there about um, what is the best training methodology. Many people, um, many bodybuilders really push doing a training split, being like hit your chest, hit this, but they're actually very advanced in their training and it, that training strategy or that training, doing a training split is perhaps not the best strategy for a beginner and we're gonna tell you in this video why. Point number one, Beginners do not need a huge stimulus to each muscle to actually really get some gains and see some growth, not only for hypertrophy, so growing the muscle, but also to getting stronger. Okay. So by doing you know, two to three full body workouts and really doing them well as a beginner, you're going to see like uh, as much growth, growth, if not more than if you're doing a training split when you're first starting out. Point number two, it's better as a beginner to do more frequent workouts, okay, so maybe again, you're doing it three times a week, rather than absolutely smashing yourself or smashing your chest only once a week. Because if you're doing those smaller workouts spread out, you're actually hitting your chest maybe on a Monday, as well as legs and everything else, then on a Wednesday or Thursday, you're getting another hit of a stimulus. It's not gonna absolutely knock, you, knock your socks off, but it's gonna give you enough, and then maybe again on a Saturday, those smaller things or those smaller, um, those more frequent um, workouts are actually gonna give you better results. Point number three, the reality is, as a beginner, if you, again, are gonna do multiple chest exercises, you're gonna train really hard, you're gonna um, kind of smash yourself or smash that chest on a Monday, it's gonna take you most of the week to actually recover, and you're not gonna be able to get a second stimulus or even a third stimulus in there. You're gonna be extremely sore. This is gonna to lead to perhaps a lack of consistency because your DOMs are just like ridiculous. Okay, so you're not gonna be consistent, you're not gonna be comfortable, okay, and you're not gonna actually have that continuity to your training and have that training frequency, so training frequency is how many times you're actually training per week. You're not actually gonna train the muscles really consistently. And like we said before, it doesn't take that much as a beginner, it doesn't take a huge amount of volume to actually see those results. And point number four is that beginners should be focusing first and foremost on their technique, getting a good movement quality into their workouts, rather than, again, trying to smash too much volume, okay? So, the reality is that if you're doing a full body program, that allows you three times a week to actually practice your movement. So you're getting, you know, a deadlift in there, three times a week or twice a week, rather than just doing it on a Tuesday, and then you're not revisiting that movement pattern um, and then getting that practice for a whole nother week. So it actually allows you, it's kind of a, um, it allows you in the longer term to actually practice those movements. You're gonna get long, uh, more out of it for the longer term. So. Beautiful, so we hope you've learned something today at Get Gym Fit. We're all about helping fitness beginners join a gym and really feel confident doing so, okay? We try and bridge that gap between wanting to do something about your health and fitness and actually making that aspiration a reality. So again, if you got value out of today's content, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, um, and that just allows us to spread the word further. Okay, see you next time.